right. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining Jenkins um, GSOC Office Hours. Today is Thursday, August 1st. Um, so we'll just quickly on the agenda, we'll quickly go over, um, you know, current status update with projects and then discuss anything else that you like to. And then I have on the agenda, um, wanted to check with you all about having our next, our last um, Jenkins online meetup, which will cover the final presentation where are you going to go, you're going to go over, you know, um, Share with us your progress, status, what you've learned, things like that. And okay, so I don't see Shlomo and Noir, so let me remove this. Okay, so Sridhar, I will let you go right ahead. Yeah, so hello everyone. In the past week, uh, we just made updations on the documentation on how to use the tool and what are the available options up there in the tool and made some minor improvements based on the issues raised by Bruno and some other uh, some other mentors. Also, now the tool also supports the composite recipes. So composite recipes, in which means is making the combination of recipes to work together in the same recipe. And thirdly, we are just trying to working on to modernize highly outdated plugins. So this, this highly outdated plugins are using older versions of JDKs, which requires switching between the JDKs. So we're just trying to make some kind of uh, functionality to switch between them and cache them locally if JDK isn't present in the system. Yeah, this is what we've just been working for the past two weeks. And yeah, we'll just continue the work uh, for this week too. Okay, cool. Um, and so I guess I should I should ask, uh, how, how are you feeling at this point about um, progress and your confidence level at this point since we're in, you know, and the second half of yeah, the program. So right now, based on our progress, we are just, I'm just feeling great uh, because I think we are just going in a quite a good speed and I hope we can just complete within within this September and uh, yeah, so feeling good and great. Okay, and you have everything you need, you have the proper, um, do you feel like you have the uh, proper amount of support from your mentor? Yeah, 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 really. So Valentin is available all the time and he's, he's just giving quick, quick kind of reviews in my PS. So that's kind of great, helpful. Okay. Great. Okay. Um, I'll let Chris type. Um, Dan Yang? Yes. And uh, uh, this week I update my PR and based on the, the feedback from the uh, other host uh, member of the hosting team. And I made some changes uh, about um, the APR I separated and to improve the G-Unit uh, unit testing. And uh, in the next week, I will update the PR according to the uh, this week RPU's discussion. And uh, I will finish up the my G-Unit test. So um, before I can finish my function, I can put a basic G unit and let uh, everyone know that the uh, function is working. And uh, yeah, that's okay. all. Okay. Okay. And how's, how's your confidence level? How's your comfort level at this point? Yeah, so since I have uh, so so many amazing feedback from the PR and I have learned so much things that uh, I haven't noticed that I need to learn this thing. So so from now on, I'm, I'm maybe not that too much confidence about that, but I, it's really helpful and it's really useful for me. And I think in the last two weeks, I have learned so, so much. And, uh, and that's uh, I will use uh, to to keep on this and uh, until I finish the, all of the function. Okay. Um. So you know, don't be afraid to ask questions, follow up questions, to get clarifying questions, and of course, you know, per the usual, uh, do your own research as well. Um. But 
Don't be afraid to ask questions, okay? Okay. All right. Um, Philip. Yeah, uh, it's going well. Um, one of my big, big PRs uh, getting another approval. And after that, the Groovy code is uh, completely migrated into Java and clean it up so far. Uh, so I open another PR um, that rearrange and sorting the classes inside of the project and cleaning up the code for more, more readability. And from my side, it looks ready. Also mm -hmm. far, very good for other developers. They will continue later on this project. Okay. Good. And your comfort level at this point? Uh, very well. I get many feedback from Tim. Uh, also, Alex uh, supports on his way. Mm -hmm. And I learned many stuff about Reactive. Um, also, on the APU inside of it, because I found another um, section of the APU that was not really mentored in the uh, first place. But um, I also arranged it to clean up there a little bit and make a structure. Okay, we're all so it sounds to me we're all having fun and and learning new things. Yeah, of course. Cool. Good, good. Um. So hi, Chris. Hi. So Nora and Shlomo aren't here. Um. Uh, so I don't see them. Who is now of the country of her country? So she has no okay. access. To so that's why she can't. Like, she can't like be here. And okay. Shlomo Maybe the dentist, so we cannot mm -hmm. be. Gotcha. Noah is still fine tuning her model for the um, for the like the, the for the assistant, the AI mm -hmm. assistant. And Snowmo has just completed an um a big a PR for the fancy graph. It's working well, and um and he's working on like fine tuning or maybe you're just fixing some of the like um I think it's a bug due to some Nginx setup issues, but uh, we're trying to get some help from Infra to, to have it looked at too. So um, that's being dealt with at the moment, I think. Okay. That's it, yeah. Okay, cool, thank you. Um, so what I have put on here was is the um, our next Jenkins online meetup. And I know that it seems far away, but it's actually not because I cut, I need a couple of weeks in advance to get the message out about the event. Um, so based on who we have here on this call right now, um, what is your thought? Given that September 2nd is our end of the regular, the standard coding program, um, I was thinking that we do a Jenkins online meetup on the 22nd or the 29th. Does anybody have a conflict with any of these days? Or if you have a preference, speak up as well. No, no preference, no conflict. Okay. Uh, how about you, Chris? Mm, either one is fine. Okay. All right. Um, I'll check with Nora and Shlomo as well and our other mentors, um, see if there's any conflicts with the date. And then I'll, we'll set up a day for our final presentation. Um, that's all I have on the agenda for today. Is there anything else you wanted to cover, Chris? Mm, I think not. So I, I think everything is fine for the moment. Okay. All right. And um, if anybody here that, you know, there's plans to extend your um, GSOC coding uh, program for this year, please let me know. So, um, so I can make sure that I'm aware. Oh yeah, okay. if Phil, Phil wants to extend his deadline. So I, I said, I told Alex, I'll follow up on it, but you, you can do it too if you want to. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, because the G-Unit test currently the FU, uh, covers 
not enough. And Tim answered me on my PR. He has some, um, not direct trouble, but a little bit of um, write more tests. And this took so many time because it's very complicated. And this took many time because Tim has not every time for me uh, to review my PS. And this can took longer as I was thinking. Mm. Okay, so is that for sure, or are you guys still on the fence about extending it? Uh, for sure, because uh, currently I finished one big PR and the test still needed inside of that, and Tim needs to review it again, and that get, goes forward and forward because we have three PRs open and every of them needs tests. Okay, okay. Thanks for letting me know. So I'll follow on it and I'll get an exact date for the extension later. Okay. I'll let you know. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you, Chris. Yeah. Um, anything else before we drop? Nope. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for joining. Have a great one. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.